I love a good party. I mean, who doesn't? I'm sure you do too. I was at a party on the weekend and I was on one side of the room and my friend was on the other side of the room and I was shouting and trying to get their attention and it didn't work. But you know what I realized in that moment? That's literally what advertising on the internet feels like. With so many voices, getting your brand noticed is like shouting at the world's largest, noisiest party. Well, let me tell you, I have found a cozy little spot on the internet where your voice not only gets heard, but also starts some pretty cool conversations. So let's chat about it. Spoiler alert, it's Reddit. Welcome to Learn with Shopify, the channel where we teach you everything you need to know to start, grow, and run your business. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I'm a content marketing strategist and I'm so excited to be hanging out with you today and chatting about how you can create better Reddit ads that actually convert and get you the results that you're looking for. Okay, so first things first, who should be advertising on Reddit? The short answer is anyone with a business and a story to tell. Imagine Reddit as this vast expanse of communities and there's literally a nook for everyone. For example, you run a skincare company that specializes in something specific like rosacea. Or let's say you run an ethical fashion company. You have pre-built communities that have tens of thousands of active members already. It's all about finding your crew and speaking their language. Now, if you don't wanna go with a specific Reddit community, you can also target specific interests like cryptocurrency or parenting. Now, the golden rule of Reddit advertising, know thy subreddit. Think of subreddits as your new best friends. You wouldn't barge into a conversation without knowing what it's about, right? Same goes here. Dive into those communities, listen in, and get the vibe. But Bridget, where do I even start with so many subreddits? Oh, don't you worry, my friends, because AI is everywhere. So there's this neat little thing called Reddit Pro for Business, and we're gonna talk about it a bit more later, but sneak peek, it has this tool called AI Insights. This is a tool that uses AI to find you industry trends and engagement insights specifically related to your audience's interests. So you're gonna use this tool to see where your brand or similar brands are being mentioned within subreddit communities. Now let's talk about joining the conversation. Imagine you're at a backyard barbecue. You wouldn't just start yelling about your latest product, would you? No, at least I hope not. You'd join in, you'd add to the conversation and maybe even crack a joke or share a story. That's your aim on Reddit. Share insights, answer questions, and every now and then slide in a little bit of something about what you offer. Keep it cool, keep it genuine. So for example, if you're in the eco-friendly product space, look for trending discussions around sustainability in environment subreddits. What solutions are people looking for that your brand can provide? This will help you tailor your campaigns and design them to resonate with those subreddit subscribers. Now you're probably wondering, how much is this gonna cost? Let's go over what your budget should be. So the best thing about Reddit is it's like advertising happy hour. It's way more affordable to get good results compared to platforms like LinkedIn or Meta. Your budget, totally up to you. The minimum daily ad spend on Reddit is $5. So let's break that down based on your objectives. For those big picture brand awareness goals, you're paying per thousand views of your ads. If you're chasing clicks or conversions, you're only paying when someone actually clicks on your ad. And if you're looking for video views, if someone watches your video for at least two seconds with half the video visible on the screen, that's a view and that's what you pay for. So my advice to you, experiment. Start with a few different ads at $5 a day, leave them running for a couple days, see what performs the best, and then throw more money behind the winner. Now, before we get into the 10 tips that I have for you, let me tell you about our channel, Learn With Shopify. If you've been here a while, welcome back. If you're new here, Congratulations, you've just landed on the perfect channel designed to help you start, run, and grow your business online or offline. So if you're in the market for some expert tips, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Believe it or not, it actually helps me continue to make amazing videos like this one. All right, let's dive in. Do you wanna know how to make your Reddit ads pop and get people clicking? Here are my top tips for nailing it. Tip number one is understand and follow subreddit rules. Each subreddit comes with its own set of rules and it's critical to respect these guidelines. Before posting, make sure that your content is in line with what's acceptable in that community. Violating these rules can result in your ad being removed and potentially harm your brand's reputation on the platform. 
and we do not want that. Tip number two is to choose your ad format based on your campaign objectives. Picking the right ad format is like choosing your outfit for a big day. What's your goal? Bridal, but not like I expect anything. If you're all about getting straight to the point, text ads are your best friend. If you're the type that believes a picture is worth a thousand words, image ads are your go-to. If you've ever tried to pick just one picture to post and thought, I need more to get my point across, that's where carousel ads come in handy. For those of you who love to tell a story, video ads are where it's at. And for the real talkers among us, conversation placement ads drop you right into the heart of where your audience hangs out. It's all about matching your message with the right format. If you wanna test out what works the best without spending a lot of your budget, then stick around because we're gonna talk about that very soon. But first, Tip number three is to build for mobile. Given that the majority of Reddit users browse on mobile devices, your ads need to be optimized for mobile viewing. This means prioritizing formats and creative elements that are easily digestible on smaller screens. For instance, when creating a video ad, make sure that it's in a four to five ratio and use closed captions to ensure your message gets across even when the sound is off. Also, include bold text overlays on image ads to convey your message clearly. Tip number four is to converse, don't sell. Reddit is a community built on trust and authenticity. When you're creating ads, focus on adding real value to the conversation. Think less, sell, and more, help out. This could be through a helpful guide or an insightful article or a solution to a common problem related to your industry. Your goal should be to contribute in a way that feels organic to the platform. Say you're all about software. Why not whip up a free webinar solving a tech headache? Keep it genuine keep it helpful, and you'll fit right in. Tip number five, stay trendy and feel the vibe of the subreddit. Create a content calendar for your Reddit ads that align with upcoming events or trends or discussions within each subreddit. For example, if there is a major industry conference coming up, you could share insights or content related to conference topics in relevant subreddits. Make sure to use language and memes that resonate with the subreddit's culture to increase engagement. Tip number six is to continuously test and optimize. In the Reddit world, staying still is a no-go. Mix things up in your ads, play around with the visuals, spice up your headlines, tweak those calls to action. Keep an eye on your analytics to spot what's clicking with your audience and polish your game plan on the go. For example, if you notice a lot of engagement around posts with questions, you can try adding questions into your ads. A-B testing is going to be your best friend here. So swap out one piece at a time and see what sticks. Tip number seven is to respond to comments. When you're creating your ad, you'll have the option to disable or enable comments. I suggest enabling them. Yes, this might get annoying because you do have to constantly monitor those comments, but the best ads are the ones that drive conversations and connection. By allowing users to respond to your ad, you're opening up the floor for more engagement. So set aside time each day to actively engage with the comments on your ads. As you go, prepare a frequently asked questions or a key message document to help maintain consistency in your responses. Use humor or personal anecdotes to humanize your brand. And as a business owner, you should also acknowledge constructive criticism with grace and offer solutions or improvements when possible. Tip number eight is to avoid being overly promotional. Blatant self-promotion is frowned upon in Reddit communities and like, everywhere, really, don't do it. Be strategic, aim to inform or entertain. Your ad should feel like a natural extension of the subreddit's content. This could mean using humor, sharing a piece of interesting trivia related to your product, or offering a genuinely compelling offer, like exclusive Reddit discounts, promotions, or product sneak peeks. Here's a really cool idea. Let's say you have an upcoming product launch. Host a trivia quiz related to your industry with winners getting early access. This is a fun, engaging way to drum up excitement while keeping true to Reddit's community spirit. Tip number nine is to complement paid ad efforts with organic marketing. Discovering that your content isn't reaching its potential audience can be frustrating. But don't worry, Reddit Pro Business Suite is your tool for making sure that your message finds its audience on the platform. With Reddit Pro, you can transform your most engaging organic posts into paid ads 
super easily. Just monitor your content's performance on the dashboard, and when a post starts gaining traction, you can amplify its reach with a paid boost. This approach lets you test different types of content organically, like videos or text or carousels, focusing your budget on what truly resonates with your audience. Let's break down making a Reddit Pro your secret weapon so you can nail your brand's presence. First up, think of AI Insights as your own detective agency, keeping tabs on where your brand is getting love or questions across Reddit. If you see a hot topic, jump into that chat with some genuine advice or whip up a relevant post. Next, you've gotta have a game plan, right? Set those key performance indicators. Use analytics tools like your personal scoreboard to see how you're doing. And if you're not hitting those numbers, it's time to switch up the strategy. Here's where it gets fun, your content calendar. Line up your posts to drop when everyone is scrolling through their feeds and looking for something interesting. You'll also want to keep an eye on the dashboard. If you notice what's getting people talking and what's a bit of a snooze fest, use that information to steer your content in the right direction. With Reddit Pro Business Suite, you're not just throwing stuff out there and hoping it sticks. You're making smart moves, engaging where it counts, and using real feedback to fine tune your approach. All right, we've made it, here we are. Tip 10, be prescriptive. Clear, concise calls to action guide users on what steps to take next. Whether it's learn more, or sign up, or buy now, your call to action should align with your ad's objective and be prominently displayed. Test out different calls to action to see which resonates the most with your target audience. Sometimes a slight change in wording can significantly impact click-through rates. Incorporating these practices into your Reddit advertising strategy can significantly enhance the effectiveness of your campaigns. By keeping it real and keeping it engaging, you're setting the stage for more than just visibility. You're building a community that digs what you do and sticks around for the ride. Now there is one crucial element that your brand needs to truly thrive in the digital marketplace, a compact compelling online presence. And what's at the heart of that? A dynamic, user-friendly website. Whether you're aiming to convert Reddit traffic into sales or showcase your products or tell your brand's story, Shopify will help you out with that. Imagine leveraging Reddit's targeted engagement and then guiding that traffic to a stunning online store where browsing turns into buying. It's your lucky day because I am giving you a free trial to try out Shopify. Just dive in and start playing with the tools that can transform your business. I've linked it for you in the description. Did I leave something out? Is there a pro tip or a success story from your own Reddit advertising campaigns? Drop it in the comments below. We'd love to learn from your experience and share those insights with the community. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insights on learning to start, run, and grow your online or offline business. I'm Bridget O'Rourke, and I'll catch you in the next video.